Welcome back. Welcome back again. Welcome back again to your, to us truly, the council, Mr. James Hoyt. Welcome back to another lesson and another blessing. All right. Uh, I um, got some new, improved, juicy uh, treats for you all today. Uh, this uh, particular paper will be called Domestic Life Support. All right, but before we get started, I would like to welcome you all again to my particular channel. And I would like to invite you to subscribe and uh, get you some of this uh, good, healthy uh, dialogue, this healthy treatment, this actual free treatment, actually. You know, even though uh, there's a cost to everything in life, you know, but if you want a better life, you'd be willing to pay the cost to be a boss. Uh, so I would like you to subscribe, uh, push subscribe on, uh, on your YouTube channel. And, uh, so you can get a host of things continually to continue to come in to you and help you and help your families. Uh, we're going to be starting a, a reality show real soon. And I'm going to need you to first be a prescriber, uh, fill out, uh, the needed, uh, paperwork on site and also to send in a short brief video of yourself along with the questions that we'll ask you uh, in the subject we'll ask you to uh, answer questions on. All right, so this paper is called Domestic Life Support. It says, defining domestic life support. Life support refers to a spectrum of techniques used to maintain life after failure of one or more vital organs. A patient requires life support when one or more vital organs fail due to causes such as stress, trauma, infections, cancer, heart attacks, or chronic diseases. Domestic life support involves reflecting, promoting, and enhancing one's life as well as desirable lifestyle of others. Domestic life support is also another form of child support, spousal support, relationship, and community support. Life support is needed before, during, and even after involving ourselves in many unhealthy toxic disease relationships. Water is the domestic substance needed in most plant-like relationships. When we stop watering our plants, or refuse to water or nourish our plants like relationships, usually in most cases, the relationship plant will die. Please answer the following questions, all right? Ride along with me, strap your seatbelts in, all right? Number one says, domestic life support. Do you believe the value of buying gifts, giving money, and buying flowers for funerals is more important than spending time in the things that you say to others, right? Some of us wait to someone is gone and we speak in groups and talk about uh, how much we love uh, certain people, how much, how close we were to that particular person who may not be here anymore, uh, a child that we were separated from and, 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 and just a host of other things. We, we can tend to retell the story, remake the story. And instead of letting people know how we feel about them, like right now, you know, not tomorrow, not next week or not next year. We want to let them know. We, we, I would hope that we can all let other people know how we feeling right now and, and, and just be sincere and open and, and get all the crap out the way that might be blocking or stopping us from showing how we really feel about somebody, right? Okay, number two, domestic life support. When it comes to denying most of your close, intimate life support relationships, has your support always been based on inclusion or have they mostly been based on illusions? Right, we'll read that again. Domestic life support. When it comes to defining most of your close, intimate life support relationships, has your support always been based on inclusion, meaning including people in your life and them, and they including you in their life or have they mostly been based on illusions, right? Because inclusion and illusions are two different things, right? Inclusion mean I include you 
in my life. I, I'm a part of your life as well as you're a part of mine. But illusion is fantasy. It, it's pretend. It's not real. Right? So hopefully we're keeping it real. Number three. Right? Number three. Domestic life support. Is your life support a beer can, a drug pipe, or a drug substance that is causing you pain that you continue to confuse with pleasure, right? Is your life support a, uh, a drug pipe or a drug substance that is causing you, is it a beer can, a drug pipe, or a drug substance that is, that is a uh, substance that is causing you pain that you continue to feel confused with pleasure, right? We confuse pain with pleasure, right? And, and it's so painful, but we call it present. I have associates and I have people and we have dialogue on, 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 on my past use or how it was for me and how it is for them. And many times, many of my associates or ex-associates of people that I meet for the first time want to tell me they're having fun, want to tell me that this drug is a benefit, this beer can is a benefit, and, and, and life is so much better, right, with the stuff. And all I can think about is this, you're in denial. You're confusing pain with pleasure. It's painful to have to wake up uh, 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 5, 10 in the morning hoping that the store is open so you can get a beer, right? It, it's painful to have to go to the drug spot and wonder if the drug dealers have showed up yet because you're not feeling well and you're sick, you know, and maybe you need to sell uh, your old uh, toe up alligator shoes, you know, or exchange them for a little bit of that dope, right? It's painful, right? Nobody wants to be a slave to a substance, right? So we have to get that right. We have to switch this thing around. If it's painful, call it pain, you know, and if it's really uh, a pleasure, let's call it pleasure. And drug use is not pleasure, so let's stop lying, all right? Number four, domestic life support. Um, is your life support a circumference place or a neighborhood where you're known to smoke crack or is it a solid square you stand on to balance your life or the lives of those you say you love? Is your life support a circumference, right? A comfortable place, right? Uh, where, you know, you are in a safe place, a secure place, you know, or is it a, is it, you know, uh, uh, a place where you can just go and smoke and drug and all kind of stuff? Is it one of them places where it's just horrible in there? No running water, the toilet don't work. Uh, it's just filthy in there. I mean, even human, uh, regular dogs go in there and use the bathroom, but yet you are found this as a safe trap house, uh, crack house or whatever house and, and, and you call it comfortable. I mean, is that it? Are you standing on a solid foundation? Are you standing on the square? Because all of us should be on the square because the square is where we get our balance at. The square is where they build houses and monuments and businesses and lifestyles at on the square. So you must be, know, you must know that you need to get you a square to stand on so you can uh, build, so you can build on yourself. All right, number five. Domestic life support. When you think about your friends, your life supporting surroundings, is your domestic life support really a lie support when it comes to supporting you and the things you want to do, right? Domestic life support. When you think about your friends and your surrounding support and your supporting surroundings, is your domestic life support really a lie support when it comes to supporting you and the things you do, right? Sometimes we say, oh baby, I gotta go out and hang with my partners. I gotta kick it with my dogs today. I gotta kick it with my folks today. <clears throat> and, and, and we often neglect something good to go to something bad. But yet we, we don't realize it, uh, that we are um, uh, living a lie. You know, the lie is not the truth. And, and you've gotten evidence to show you that Many of our choices, many of our surrounding areas, the places we still hanging out on, it, it, the love in it 
and many times it's been over a long time, you know, and a long time. And some of us are still, still haven't woke, woken up yet to the realities of this ain't cool or that ain't cool. And we're not even speaking up and saying it ain't cool so things can get better, right? So, you know, we got, we got, we got to do some homework, right? We got to do some homework. Number six, um, domestic life support. Is your life worth giving or is your life, is the life you have worth living? Domestic life support, is your life worth giving or is the life you have worth living, right? Now, part of life, and I believe, and I know it because I've been doing it, uh, 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 that giving side of myself, that's taking time out for others, taking time to listen to others, no matter what level of life they may be on, no matter what status they believe they're on, uh, just being open, man, and treating people like somebody, treating people like equals. I know that that's a good feeling. Helping somebody or saying something nice to help them through the day is a good thing, and it makes me feel good, you know. Uh, and, and my life is worth living, and I hope that you all can attach to some of what I'm talking about because who wants to be mad all the time? Who wants to be frowning their face up all the time? I, I once read something. They said, uh, if you frown your face, you have to flex and, and, and activate over 100 muscles to actually frown your face up. Even if it's a light frown or a hard frown, it's over 100 muscles. But if you smile, right, when you smile and show some joy to others, uh, you activate a chemical reaction in your body and makes you feel better, right? It does. Try it. Try it. Practice it. Do it over and over and over again. Look in the mirror even and smile at yourself and make yourself feel better, right? Okay. Um, number seven. Number seven. Domestic life support. If people do the best they can in the class they're in, do you believe the class you're in will determine the class you're destined to win? All right, domestic life support. If people do the best they can in the class they're in, do you believe the class that you're in will determine the class that you are destined to win? Right? It's a question, man. It's a question, man, you know, because Sometimes we leave one classroom to go to another classroom. I, myself, even was in school destined to graduate uh, high school and, and uh, had not done that because I left that class to go into a street class and, and, and a group of uh, uh, what I thought was cool, what I thought was sufficient, what I thought would take me to a great place. Mm. Right? Sometimes you just got that little bit of nudge telling you you're not really doing the right thing. Right? But we all can make a left turn and get lost sometimes. But the thing is to make a right turn and get back to where we were supposed to be. All right? Now, number eight, we're going to close this out. Right? We're going to close this out. Right? It says, domestic life support who knows, domestic life support who's known to always go to jail. Do you believe you can always find your greatest life support whenever you go to jail? Or do you receive more support when you get out of jail? Right? Do you find, because people, when I say when you're always going to jail, that should be a question you should ask, right? Unless there's something really good up in there. You should ask yourself the benefit. Is it really, really beneficial in there? Do you get to call the shots that you always wanted to call? Do you get to tell people when to uh, go to war? Do you get to tell people when to share their uh, 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 top ramens or their cup of noodles with you? Do you get to make a spread? Is that what you get when you go? Do you get your life support, you know, your noodle life support, your spread life support? Do you get the support from your brothers that you always wanted when you go to jail? Or do you get the support when you get out of jail? Do you support yourself when you get out of jail? Do you get back to your responsibilities when you get out of jail? Do people, are people really glad to see you? Or do people uh, wish you just go back where you just came from? What is really going on with the life support, right? Life should be a life worth living, not a life worth 
uh, not living. All right, that's going to be it for yours truly, the counsel, Mr. James Horton. Thank you for attending my group. And don't forget to put uh, uh, some credits up, a thumbs up, a like uh, on what you just saw and many of the other videos that you will see. And Jake, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Domestic Violence with the Counselor, Mr. James Horton. Thank you for attending.